Well, hello and good day. Hope that you're having a terrific day and this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day. Although I gotta admit, I'm a little bit on the worried side. My question for the cars today is, once the Trump verdict comes down in the New York fraud case, do Americans have to be worried about political violence? A ridiculous question for me to be asking. However, I do remember sitting transfixed to my television in January 2021, watching a mob ransack the U.S. Capitol and beat police officers with flagpoles and threatened to kill them. And there are still people that are on the rampage to see how much destruction they can do. I mean, Michael Farone, the other day in the New York courtroom outside of it, exercised his free speech and spoke against Trump. And his mother, his mother was uh, hit with one of these SWAT pranks. That's where you call in the SWAT team and, you know, thing like a tell some little old lady gets killed at the hands of the police. That's the mentality of what we're dealing with. And this is not rank and file Republicans. This is the mega crazy who believe they are entitled to whatever they want, whenever they want it, and nobody is going to stand in their way. And if you do, you're subject to threats, intimidation, and or physical violence, harassment, etc. So I guess the question isn't coming completely out of the blue, and I certainly expect that there will be a lot of people living in one of those right-wing media silos that's going to take the news badly in the event that Donald Trump is convicted. So that's my question. Is this something that Americans have to be fearful of? We've got a new deck that we're trying out for right now. This is the Tarot Das, the Tarot of Bones, and it is by Jester, who is one of the artists for Pentagram Publishing in the Ukraine. Deck just came in yesterday and it's been fun to play with. Nothing like a new deck to kind of make your day. So just doing standard Celtic cross on this. Let's see what we got coming up. And the first card, that's a good opener. Four of Swords. This is a card that is about rest and retreat and people contemplating and kind of rejuvenating themselves. It's not flying off the handle and doing something regrettable. It's taking the step back. And this is crossed by the Two of Cups in a reverse position. Now the Two of Cups, when they reverse, this is about division. Well, there's huge divisions in American society. And this, you know, separation of the you know, kind of tribal camps and one dare not co-mingle with the others. It's also a card that's about emotional deregulation. So people that aren't capable of holding on to their emotions or regulating their emotions or understanding, you know, yes, life is full of disappointments. That doesn't mean you have to fly into a rage and beat somebody with a flagpole just because you didn't get what you wanted. In the past position, we have the Page of Cups. This is a card that's about creativity and you know the idealism, the innocence that goes with youth. All pages are young energy, so they've got this curiosity. Sometimes you kind of have to watch them because it can be a bit impetuous. They just don't have uh, the wisdom and the maturity to kind of slow the roll a bit. But the Page of Cups is a very sensitive creature, often has surprising insights, and when he's in this position, which is an upright position, the good news is likely to be his message from spirit, which we'll pull at the end of this reading. In the future position, we have the emperor in a reversed position. 
While the Emperor when he's reversed is stubborn and domineering and very reckless kind of energy, um, very kind of unfocused, but I think it's very important to kind of note right now that the Emperor is reversed. He's upside down. He is thrown off. He is not getting what he wants in the future. It's a good day for America. In the sky, the reading, this is the overarching energy. This is kind of the goals or the objectives of the reading, if you will. And we have the star card and it's in a reverse position. Now, the star card, when it's reversed, this is a card about disconnection. We've already talked about the disconnection in American society that has kind of been um, ginned up and proclamated and pushed and amplified by those who can use it in order to make money and to, you know, aggrandize themselves and to advance their own interests. Um, it's also kind of about lack of faith. Well, I'll tell you one thing, even all that we've been through, I mean, I'm not an American, I'm watching you from your northern border, but I still, even in my worst moments with all of this, have not lost my overall faith in the American people. Um, and I do not think that MEGA represents America. I may change my mind at the foundation of this reading. This is the underlying energy that's holding everything up. We have the devil. And of course, the devil is a card about control. It's also about excesses. It's very, um, the excess of materiality. It's no, nothing about other than what I want. It is very, very negative energy. It is deviant as hell, i.e. breaks all the social norms and or legal rules. And it is very much the shadow side that we're dealing with. And this is undergirding what's going on right now as energetically in the United States. So it is serious. I'm not suggesting for a minute that Americas are not up against some pretty heavy energy and these are trying times. So I'm, I'm not laughing and saying somebody is being foolish for being worried because quite frankly, you've got a history to go with it. We have message from spirit, four of cups in a reverse position. The universe weeps with you, right? This is a card about being empathetic because there's a lot of people that just like the the whole idea of just flooding the zone with excrement and just more and more I mean people are so numb they're numb to the lies they're numb, numb to the nonsense they're numb to the the rule breaking and the norm shattering that's been just non-stop for I think it's seven years going on eight like people just don't know what to do about it but the good news that comes with that four cups is also about realignment people are going to again back to that idea that we had with the opening card of the four of swords people taking that rest break and the other thing too about fours is this is a card of stability and this is our second four that we have so this it's turbulent but there's actually some stability in the system. It's not going to hell in a handbasket is what I'm trying to say. In the environment, we have the fool. Fool promises things like new beginnings. He's an innocent and he pursues uh, freedom with a great deal of optimism and joy. He has a great deal of spontaneity and he's always looking for an adventure. But generally speaking, the fool, when he's in an upright position, is he's one of the good guys, right? Um, you might shake your head at him, and you might roll your eyes at some of the things that the fool has to do, but he is not a malevolent spirit. And so this, again, goes back to why I have faith in the American people. There isn't this 
malevolence, this this dark energy that is got a grip and has dug its claws into American society. Now, in the hopes and fears, we have the Hermit. The Hermit's card about solitude and wisdom. It's about taking an opportunity to deal with problems by examining them closely and introspection and taking some guidance from your, your better spirits, you know, your, your better angels. Meditation. I think that this is really a card that's saying is before this verdict comes down, one way or the other, everybody should sit back and choose how they're going to react. Recognize the fact that there's a possibility that you will not get the result you wanted or the result you expected or the result you think that was deserved. How are you going to react with family members, with work colleagues, with people in the grocery store? Right now, before that verdict comes down, spend some time, some introspection, and figure out how you want to behave. And make sure that those actions are lining up with your higher spiritual values. And then the final outcome, we have the Knight of Swords, one of my favorite people in the deck. Knight of Swords, of course, he's about courage, he's tenacious, he's got drive, he's focused on things, and he he's one of the good guys. He's one that speaks up to defend the underdogs. He's the one who is the voice of the oppressed. He is the one that is not afraid to swing that sword of truth that he wields. So that is a very happy ending to this reading. But we have we had a page. We had the page of cups in the past position. And the page's message is the world card. World card is about, you know, quality existence, but it's also about connectedness, right? We are the world. It's also the end of one phase and the start of another phase, right? So it is this like pause in between, which is very much, I mean, we've gone through, um, the former president of the United States is not your kind of criminal trial. There is may or may not be a couple in the future for him. Um, but this is definitely the end of one chapter and turning the page to start another. But again, this idea of connectedness that comes with it, the American people are not going to fall apart because of what's going on. And our shadow card is strength. Oh, doesn't that just amplify everything I've said in this reading? Because strength card is about your mental strength. It's about being brave. It's about your confidence. And again, this idea of having self-control. You have power over yourself and how you're going to react. You can be patient with yourself and patient with people around you. It is about finding balance in what you do and it's treating everyone even the ones you disagree with with a sense of compassion and a recognition of their essential human dignity and I think that is really important I feel really good about this reading and just kind of overall I don't think yes there will be sporadic attacks there will be sporadic incidences and I'm sure there will be uh, media looking for as much of this as possible. But when I'm looking at this reading, just kind of like from the 35,000 yard view, um, we have seven majors in this. I pulled 11 cards, 12 of you include the uh, pages message. 
I pull, pulled out of 12 cards, seven of them were majors. So that is a pretty heavy energy that's floating around. But for the most part, I found it very encouraging. There's a lot of cards in here that would have upset me to have seen. You know, page of wands. Any of the fives are all about conflict. I mean, there's a lot that you can probably think of that you would not want to see in a reading like this. The other group that stands up is all cups. So this is very emotional stuff. But the thing that was kind of nice to see is that there wasn't any wands. Nothing getting overheated. Not this fire energy that's erupting, you know, sometimes we call it passion, sometimes we call it crazy. And that is absent from this reading. So I'm having a positive feeling about how America is going to take this, regardless of what side of the political spectrum you happen to be on. So that's my reading for today. If you like this kind of content, please like the video. It lets me know that you're looking for more of this kind of content. By all means, subscribe if you'd like to be a member of this wonderful little community that we're growing every day. And you know, share it with a friend that you know that would get something out of it. And I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.